Hey there, gorgeous witchy souls. <laughs> I just wanted to show you this before I quickly changed it because um, this is out of control, right? So this is my reading space here. This is usually where I sit. This beautiful stain here is a result of my gorgeous friend Raven Song's delicious essential oil, which I cannot stop using. So I need to get a new tablecloth. There's, there's a mark there as well. But I need to get a new reading cloth, which I'm going to do today. But... What's happened is I've actually gotten out of control with the number of decks that I have on my table. And this has just happened naturally over the course of the last month. I just sat down. That was that noise. Um, so I have, to count here, I have the Sacred Bridges Tarot, which was very recently gifted to me. And I want to do a little video on that. I have, of course, my soul cards. It's the Chikoli, the Wooden Tarot, Saki Saki, uh, <laughs> Messenger Oracle, the Wisdom of the Oracle, Wisdom of Avalon Oracle, um, Sacred, no, what was it? Sacred Rebels, Wild Kuan Yin, Tarot of the She, Vintage Wisdom, The Green Witch's Tarot, Tarot of the Hidden Realm, Sacred Earth Tarot, Deviant Moon, The Gods and Goddess Oracle, you know, Gods and Titans Goddess Oracle, The Mini Rider White, which I effing love, guys. I absolutely love this one. The Illuminati, The Wild Unknown. Then this here is actually three decks in one, which is, I've spoken about um, in a previous video, and that is the Shapeshifters, the Lay Vampire, and the Shadow and Light Oracle, all by Jasmine Beckett Griffith, all by Lucy Cavendish. That's my little son whinging in the background there. That's yes, baby. And then this is the um, I just drew a blank. The oh my gosh, I just drew a blank. The oh my gosh, I just drew an absolute blank. What is the name of this cut this deck? Prisma Visions! Oh my god. Oh, I hate that. I hate don't you hate it when that happens? You just draw a complete blank. The Prisma Visions by James Eads. Doesn't it look beautiful with this gorgeous fluorite on top of it? it? Looks like it's meant to be. And so with all of this going on on my reading space, I just don't have space to do my reading. This is literally the space that I have from here to here. And it's just out of control. Like, it's out of control. So I need to um, I need to downsize. I need to actually cull um, a few decks, you know, and just place these ones on another shelf and just move things around so I have about three. Three to four I'd be happy with. Um, four, like two tarot, two oracles, and, well, five with my um, soul cards because I can't – soul cards are always on my reading table. So this is soul cards one. I've talked about this. Sorry about the background noise. My son is in a very annoying little <laughs> mood. Look at that face. Look at that face. But this is what's going on. So today I'm going out to get a new. Come and have a look at this one, Bubby. I'm coming out to have a new. Have a new. To, going out to get a new reading cloth because as you can see, this one is quite. Like I've been crafting incense. So that's that, that dry matter on top. That's the oil that's come through. That's the oil that's come through there. I have I have spell under this sh this thing here. Um, well, it's more of a sigil. Um, and yeah, so I've got to move some stuff around, and I really want to make space because look at how much space my the, the layout of my decks is actually taking up more space than what I have to read on at this particular point in time, and that's just simply, you know, that's not cool. So that's my story, guys. Um, out of the ones that I've got on my deck, um, on my deck, oh god, I can't talk today. Out of the ones that I have on my reading table, which one would you keep out? If I'm only keeping out five, that's um, that's soul cards as well. The soul cards is the fifth one. So if I was only to keep out two tarot and two oracle out of what I've got on my desk here at the moment, what would you suggest I keep out? What's your personal? What's your personal recommendation? Because I want to work with all of these at the moment, but I, th I feel I'm being a bit gluttonous and you know, that's a bit of a stretch, you know. So I, I have to take my time. I have to cull back and take my time with it. So what would you say? Um, which one? Which one? Which one? Oh, there's Savannah. Say hi, Savvy. All right. Much love. Many blessings, guys.